Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to talk about moving house. If you've been here before, you might have noticed over the last few months there's been a lot of prep for moving house because I've been ready to move house. Well, it's finally happening. Hopefully, touch wood. Um, if the stars align, I could be moving in about two and a half, three weeks time. So I really need to start with the proper prep of what I'm going to do with all my fish and all my fish tanks. If you think about it normally, if you're moving house, normal people might have one fish tank, two fish tanks, that kind of thing. I'm up at around the 20 or 30 mark. So for the past few months I've been trying to dial everything back a bit, get rid of some fish, not buy any new fish, consolidate all my tanks down. So bit by bit I've got down there. I think I'm round about the 10 tanks level now. These ones, for instance, have nothing in them but plants. They're just holding tanks for plants at the moment. I have another one in my office that has nothing in it. I used to have my angelfish. They moved downstairs some videos back. Um, but still, quite a lot in there. Normally, you would have a few options. You might be moving one tank and it's perfectly acceptable to just break that tank down on the day of the move or the day before the move. Put all the fish into fish bags, put them into a poly box or some kind of container. Move them set up the tank again when you get to your new place and Bob's your uncle, everything's done. You might be good for two, three, four days like that. Anything longer than that, you might want to set up maybe some temporary tanks or holding tubs with just maybe an air stone or something in them. Keep them going while you sort things out. Um, not really viable in my situation. Take the stress out of it a little bit more, you might go to one of your local fish stores and say, look, I've got a tank full of fish, a moving house, um, could you board them for a while? So they'll let you have one tank, put all your fish in it, slip them a few pennies. Bob's your uncle, do the move, stress-free, set up your new tank, go and collect your fish, everyone's happy. You might have a friend or a neighbour that could look after your tank for a while while you do all that kind of stuff. Again, not really viable in my situation, too many tanks, too crazy. So, what I was planning on doing was basically a supercharged version of that. I'd bought a load of poly boxes, a load of actual tough boxes. I'll put links in the description to the boxes I was actually going to use. I already have a bunch of air stones, air pumps, battery air pumps, all that kind of thing. I could easily get one of my cars, set that up as like a mobile fish transportation device, have the air pumps running, that would keep me going, get there, that would keep me going for a day or two. Um, it would be stressful as hell, but it would work. But in the end, the survey on the new house came back and the electrics weren't quite trustworthy enough. So I, again, it introduced more stress. So that's not really going to work for me. So I've looked into another option. So what I've done is I've been on the lookout for a place to rent, whether it's an office, a workshop, a garage, whatever it might be. And I finally found somewhere that was ticked all the boxes. It has power, it has water, it has someone that's going to allow me to store a bunch of aquariums there for a while and it's not too far away that it's unworkable. So I have this new place, I need to get that all sorted and set up. And what I'm gonna do is basically board the fish myself. So take a, a rack over there, fill it full of fish tanks, and then bit by bit get all my fish over there, and then that'll allow me to do the actual house move and sort the electrics out at the new place. And slightly less stress than there might be normally. So, I'll take you downstairs and show you how far I've got so far and what kind of things we're thinking about. Um, but let me know in the comments if you've thought of anything else. Hopefully, this is the best plan that I can come up with. But if you think of something else, let me know. You never know. I might be able to ha I might have time to sort it out before we get there. Down in the fish room here, we can do a bit of a, a mini fish room tour and I can show you how we've got on so far with what I'm planning to do. So, this is part of the challenge. These are some of the tanks full of fish that we've got to get moved to the new house. Um, as you can see, well if you're a regular viewer here, if not, why not click that subscribe button and then you won't miss anything. We've already broken down all these tanks, so they're currently in the other half of the garage. Um, they got washed out, jet washed, cleaned within an inch of their lives. Uh, we're part way through emptying these tanks and rehoming fish over this side. So my idea is that I break down this bank, move some of the tanks and then break down this bank and move some of the fish. But initially, what we're going to do is, do you remember these tanks? Weeks and weeks, if not months ago now, we got these tanks. So these have never been used. They're going to be moved to a new unit. So I've rented a place. I've rented a place, I've bought some new uh, racking shelves. Um, six foot by two foot spans. So bigger than any of the ones I've got at the moment. So I can accommodate some bigger fish and some bigger tanks. 
Um, so I'm going to take one of the new racks to the new place, set that up, move these empty fish tanks and some of the empty fish tanks are moved from up here, get them set up, filled with water, filled with um, pre-cycled filters and all that, and then I can start moving some of the fish over, break down some more tanks, repeat, and then just keep going until basically I've moved everything, including all the fish upstairs. But I'll give you a quick, a quick run through of what we've got here at the moment. So, so far on this shelf, this was, if you remember, my various types of guppies. So, we moved all them, they've just got some storage boxes now, but I've got loads of plumbing fittings, some rocks and plants and decorations and some more filtration stuff up here. That's just there to keep it out of the way for the moment. On this level, we've got all the blue star endlers are in here. The tiger endlers are not all in here, but this one, these are going to move over here with the rest of the tiger endlers. We've got the steak endlers and an empty tank, so that one's ready to be broken down as well. And then down below, this used to be the Pleco Paradise, so that had Pleco and some blue endlers, and this had the wild guppies. So bar some snails, so as you can see I've got the little JBL snail trap in there, collecting the last of the few snails, and a couple of fry, which I missed, I don't know if you can see them swimming about. These two tanks are almost ready to be broken down as well. So that takes us on to these ones, so these will last a few more days before I start moving these. I actually quite like the look of that tank at the moment. Basically it's got all my moss and various plants dumped in just to keep them going for a while. But these are the tiger green endlers. And if it'll ever focus on any of them. They're pretty cool. In this tank here we've got some of the wild guppies. Well, we've got all the wild guppies. Again. Really cool colours on these, but hard to focus on them at the moment. I really like these. I quite like all the enders actually, I really love the colours. This tank here, we have currently got the angels. These are the not autumn angels, but still nevertheless I really like these fish. So I'm hoping to get these set up in some kind of breeding programme once I get into the new place. And a bunch of bristlenose plecos. In fact, a big bunch of bristlenose plecos. There's tons of them in here. But all squirreled away in their various caves and hidey holes. Down here, we've got all the guppies. So these are all the muck guppies. And again, I'm really loving some of these muck guppy colours. I especially like this one down here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a platinum white. It's really, really pretty and hard to focus on. But the rest of them are also pretty cool. I just think they make a great, a great fish tank. Loads of movement, loads of colours, really intricate patterns. When you get in close and actually see some of them, they're absolutely fantastic. And then obviously, the star of the show. This is Humphrey. Ooh, we're way overexposed. Why are we so exposed? Can we sort that out a little bit? Um, but yes, handsome chap that he is. So we're going to make sure that he's happy and he's moved. And as you can see in some of these tanks, there's a lot of extra filters. So Humphrey's currently got four, keeping them going at the moment. There's more dotted around. There's a couple in this tank. There's a few extra in this tank. The idea being that I have cycled, cycled filters that I can just drop into the new tanks that I'm going to move over. Um, and Humphrey here, you mate, are going to temporarily live in one of these tanks. So these tanks are a foot wide, two and a bit feet long, um, a foot and a half or something like that. I think it's about 18 inches tall, something like that. Not ideal, but hopefully it's only going to be for a couple of weeks. and then we'll get you into a proper tank. So my idea is this houses the discus, um, obviously emptied, moved to the new place, filled with the discus, 
Um, that tank there is either going to house Humphrey or the Angels. Not quite sure, the Angels might go in one of these tanks as well. Because these ones are actually quite deceptively big. And they hang over the back quite a few inches as well. And they hang over the front a couple of inches. So these racks here are, so this one's five foot, I think, by 18 inches. This one's four foot by 18 inches. I think this one's five foot by two foot. And the new one's gonna be six foot by two foot. Or just over two foot, I think it is. Big Doug, um, I'll put links in the description to all these stuff. But yeah, generally, that's the plan until we get the electric sorted. If it works out well, maybe do it a few weeks longer because I do want to build a new fish room, like a custom-built fish room. Stay tuned and you'll see when I get to it. Um, but I just wanted to give you a bit of a, a look-see and see what the challenge was. So I spent most of the weekend getting this far, which doesn't look like I've got very far at all, but I feel like I'm starting to make progress, if nothing else. Uh, spend the rest of the weekend continuing with this. But as always, if you want to see how we get on, click the subscribe button, which isn't up there, it's probably down there. Um, click the notification bell and then you won't miss any of the updates. So we'll do a bit of a moving series, I think. And then we'll do a bit of a fish room build series. And then we'll do a bit of a pond build series. So there's lots coming up on the channel, so hopefully you can stick around for that. But for now, I'll just keep getting dirty and wet and we'll finish this off. Thanks for joining me. Bye! Thank you.